Hi everyone, welcome to Healthy Indian Recipes. Today I'm sharing another gluten-free millet-based recipe made using sweet potatoes. So I have here two medium-sized sweet potatoes. First, let's peel the skin. Once you have peeled the skin, make sure you wash them thoroughly. Now I am going to use a box grater here with the largest size of the holes and I am going to grate my sweet potatoes from one direction only, top to bottom. This way you will make sure that you will get long straight grated uh, sweet potato. Our sweet potato is fully grated as you can see the slices are nice and thin. To this add around 3 tablespoons of roasted peanut powder. 1 thinly sliced green chilli around 3 tablespoons of coriander add 1 teaspoon of roasted crushed cumin 1 teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt now mix everything together I'm using my hands today because all the mixture has to be blended really well this add around 2 tablespoons of sama rice flour also called as varai or bhagar. You could basically swap this with any kind of millet flour you have. This is used as a binding agent. Now give everything a good mix and heat a pan on the side for medium heat. Once your pan is hot add around 1 teaspoon of ghee. Now take a ball of sweet potato mixture and add it to the pan. Now flatten the mixture using your fingers. Be careful as the pan will be hot. You will definitely get this with more practice. Now flatten the edges using a spatula. This gives you a nice round shape. Now cover and cook for around 2 minutes on medium heat. After around 2 minutes, do check your thali peat. Add around 1 teaspoon of ghee. Cover again and let it cook for another 2 minutes. Make sure the flame is at medium. After about 2 minutes, gently check and now you can see I can move the thali peat easily. Now flip the thali peat. You can see our sweet potato has roasted nicely. Now cover again and cook for additional 3 minutes. Now after about 3 minutes, our thali peat looks cooked well from both sides and is ready to be served. Gently remove the thali peat on your plate and enjoy it with a bowl of curd. I hope you like my today's recipe. Do give it a try and let me know how it turned out for you in the comments below. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thanks for watching.